back to cooking with the snow dogs. Today we're making, I, is it called baklava? Baklava. I sound like I'm saying something that's like a volcano. Yeah, you're saying lava and I don't think you so actually would say lava. Baklava? Baklava. Jamie's here too. Yeah. Hi. Baklava. We're making baklava. baklava. Today is baklava. actually Christmas Eve, the day that we were filming this, but it won't go up till after Christmas, but that doesn't matter. You guys can make it anyway. Make it for a New Year's party. Make it for whatever. If you've never it's had delicious. it before, it's delicious. We are making a walnut version. And with the invention, well, not the invention, <laughs> but the accessibility of this, this phyllo dough, dough. It, makes, it makes this really easy. Yes, because otherwise we would have to make super thin pastry crust. And then it just crust. never tastes the same. You really right. have to be good at making this in right. order for it to turn out right. So, we tip number one. <laughs> Get some phyllo dough. Tip number two, thaw it in your refrigerator for 24 hours and then thaw it to room temperature, or thaw it. Take it out of your refrigerator. You want it to be about room temperature before you start working with it. So about an hour or so before you actually start making your baklava. Yeah, not the whole day before because you don't want it to dry out. No, no. What else do we need? We need two and a half sticks of butter, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one cup of sugar, a half a cup, a half a cup, a half a cup, a half a cup of honey, three quarters of a cup of water. I don't remember how much cinnamon. A One teaspoon? teaspoon. Jamie remembered. And then this I is up. <laughs> I do remember I that. This is one pound of, that's actually one pound of chopped walnuts, but we are going to take and put them in the food processor for... And we're gonna a chop them bit. up a little bit finer than, yeah. than what they're. Yeah, you don't chewing. want them to be real chunky like this. You want them to be fine, but you don't want them to be dust. So put them in your food processor, pulse them for three to five times, and they should be just about ready. And of course, the dogs are here. Yeah, mm. the nuts are the nuts are delicious, but the dogs cannot have the nuts. So. Nope, no walnuts for you guys. Sorry, I don't really think there's much that. of anything you can mm -hmm. have in this recipe. Mm -hmm. But you can hang out in here with us while we make mm -hmm. it. Sound like a plan? Sounds we'll make it smell delicious in here. Sounds good to me. Let's get to it. All right, so we are opening oh, up the phyllo dough. Mm -hmm. You can see how fine it is. Now Just basically, we are using the entire box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unroll both of these and then we are going to take a damp cloth and put it over top of it so that it doesn't dry out. You do not want this to dry out. So Jamie's gonna work on rolling this out flat. So the phyllo dough actually comes in a 9 by 14 size and we are using a 9 by 13 cake pan to make ours. So we do have to trim a little bit of this to make it fit in the pan. If you have a 9 by 14 pan and you're making this, I suggest use that. If you don't, you're gonna, gotta, you're gonna have to get creative. <laughs> we are actually using a pizza roller to cut ours. Works pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to prepare the, I guess it's like a honey sauce. I don't even know what it is. Mm -hmm. We are going to take the sugar. The sweet part of it. Yeah, the sugar, the honey, the lemon juice, and the water. We're gonna mix them all up. We're gonna put, put it in this pan. pan and we are going to put it on a medium to high heat and we're gonna stir it together until the sugar is dissolved. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. Mm. Pour in some water. Sugar. Mmm, sugar. Splash of lemon juice. Now the sticky part. Mmm, sticky. Honey. And some honey. And that is local Michigan honey. It is actually, uh, I don't remember what they call it, but it's like local bees from our area. Hmm. Believe okay. it or not, it really is. I made sure to get local honey because local oh. honey is the best. Ooh, Kira knows something. Don't you even think about it. She does know better than to jump up on the stove. That is one thing that I've been working with teaching her. She's like, hmm, but I like honey. You probably could have some honey, honey. <laughs> Memphis is like, me? Can I have some honey? No, you guys aren't going to have any of this right now. We are going to go ahead and stir this and bring it to a boil, and we want all of that sugar to dissolve. Yeah, you said it was local honey, so I thought you guys could have this some... <laughs> What? Good honey from oh here you can clean this one too. It's cool. I know. Now you gotta wash everything before you put. Don't worry, guys. We yeah, really do it. wash our hands a lot when we cook, and we wash our utensils a lot when we cook. Cause I mean, how can you not share with these cuties? Mm -hmm. Is that sticky icky? Sticky sticky sticky. Tell yeah. Me. All right. So while Jamie is working on that, I am going to pulse these up just a little bit finer than they are in my little KitchenAid mixer. So this is the walnuts before. 
this is about what they should look like after. So you can tell it's just a little bit more finely chopped. So the whole time Jamie is doing this, all I can think of is that abso facto song dissolve. <laughs> <laughs> All of our sugar is pretty much now dissolved. Now we're just waiting for this to boil it's a little bit. It's pretty close. I can hear it starting to simmer underneath. Yep. So once this comes to a boil, then we are going to turn it down to low, and we're going to let it continue to boil at a lower temperature for four minutes, and we're not going to stir it. That's going to help dissolve all the water and thicken it up. While that is finishing up, I am going to take and melt our butter. So we are going to take our finely chopped walnuts, pour them in a little bit bigger of a bowl, and we're gonna take the cinnamon and pour it in there as well. And then we're just gonna stir it together so that it all gets coated with cinnamon. Stir that all together. Ooh, that smells great. It really does. Now it smells like Christmas. <laughs> so with this preparing and the butter melting, we are gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 325 degrees. Fahrenheit. So now we are going to butter our pan. You need to make sure that you butter the pan and butter all the edges as well because we don't want anything getting burnt and sticky. So first step, butter the pan. So now we take the phyllo dough. It is okay if it tears, really. Put it on there and we are doing 10 layers, buttering each layer in between. You don't need to over butter them, just make sure you get enough butter on each one. But you got to do this every time, and the bottom is 10 layers. Look at these helpful dogs. <laughs> so after you put down your 10 layers on the bottom, we're going to take about 3 quarters of a cup of the walnut mixture and spread it around. So I have a quarter cup measure, we're going to do 3 of them and then spread it around. And then we're going to start making layers again. So we're gonna spread it out like that. Now, we're gonna do the layering thing with the butter again, but we're gonna do five sheets. And then we're gonna put walnuts again. And then we're gonna do five more sheets. And then we're gonna do walnuts again, and then five more sheets, and walnuts again, and five more sheets, and then walnuts again, and then 10 sheets. Did I do that right? <laughs> we have 40 sheets total. So 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom, five in between each layer. That's the plan. Dun, dun, dun. So basically you're going to get four layers of nuts, right? Yeah. Yep. Four, four layers, of, layers nuts. of nuts is we're, what we're shooting at. And we're just going to keep working on this. Ugh. All right. We're on our top layer now. These layers above the nuts are hard to butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause it's not sticky. No, it's not stuck to anything. But as soon as it does, as soon as you get on the couple layers deep, it, it goes a lot easier. All right. We're going to keep on buttering. The dogs are still in here helping by keeping our feet warm. <laughs> okay, so once we're done, before we bake it, we're actually going to cut it. So. The best way to do this is to make a cut right down the middle. Make sure you get it all the way down. I'm just kind of using a prying little cut method. Yep, you don't want to drag too much because you don't want to drag everything around. No. So then we're going to cut each half in half. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna make sure that it's cut through because I don't know if it is. So now we're actually gonna form these into diamonds. I'm gonna start with a corner here. You can start really anywhere and just uh, you can work from the center and work your way out. But I'm gonna go about this is a good size for right that final piece. This one's a little small. I meant to make that bigger. That's okay. And then we're just going to follow that pattern all the way across. And this is it gets a little tricky. If you need to, you can put like a toothpick or something through it to hold it down. But if you just press down and cut. There you go. Make little diamonds. We got this. <laughs> so we got our little diamond shapes. Some of these ones over here are a little bit big, but that's perfectly fine. If you want a big piece, they're over there. If you want a little piece, they're over here. I think it's going to work out perfect. We're going to put this in the oven for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. The top's gonna get nice and brown. Now don't forget about this stuff. Make sure it's uh, you know, cooling over there. We're gonna use that after this comes out of the oven. So after an hour and 15 minutes about, mm -hmm. it's done. So now we're gonna take the syrupy stuff and spoon it all over it. And that's exactly the noise it should be making. Cook it right on there. So now we're just going to keep doing that. Mm. It's all drizzled. Now 
We gotta leave it sit out. It's perfect. Thank Needs you. to sit for what? Four to six hours or overnight. We're actually leaving ours overnight. Yep. You want it to get to room temperature. So all of that stuff gets a chance to soak in and then kind of solidify again, yeah. I guess. Yeah. That's what we're what we're hoping for. It looks amazing. It, it looks does. beautiful. This is the second time we've made it. This it looks way better than the first time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I would it agree. does. I would agree. Yeah. Looks better than the first time. So. We'll have to try it. So, uh, <laughs> we can't try it till Christmas, <laughs> so I guess we're gonna take it with us tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow. there's some small little pieces right there, but you can't have no, it. No, we can't have it till tomorrow bad. anyway, so. Yeah. All, right. All right, we're gonna let it sit. So, we took the baklava to Christmas dinner and we ate almost half the pan. Mm -hmm. But I forgot to get a clip of anybody trying it, so I have three pieces cut. And look! Greg's here! Would you like to try it first? Sure. Uh -huh. There you go. Of course, we, we already had our first reaction of what it tasted like, but you gotta give the internet the, the reaction. Okay, so here's a look. <laughs> it's so... Where's really good? <laughs> We already ate so much of it, we're still eating more with the same reaction. It's full of nuts and I still like it. Yeah, Greg doesn't like walnuts and it's full of walnuts. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna eat my piece. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it was a hit because it's pretty much gone now. <laughs> Forgot to film an outro to this video. Hope you guys liked it. Let us know down in the comments what you want us to make next. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and tell us what we should make next for food, guys. I'm trying to get back on track on this channel, I really am. It's gonna take me a little bit to figure it out, but I'm working on it. But this was delicious.